changes, I always get this. He says he has a history of pollen affecting him. After having mucus build up over a few weeks and feeling fatigued, he went to his doctor. And he goes, I think it's an allergy. I think it's just a cold. But telling which is which can be tough since doctors say symptoms are almost identical. A lot of sinus tenderness, runny nose, itchy watery eyes, sore throats. Our tree pollen count in East Texas has been pretty high this week and that coupled with the fluctuation in temperatures has led more people to go inside these doors. Stuff starts to bloom and then things start going crazy. We see a lot of it in the spring, a lot of it in the fall. It just depends on what's blooming. Doctors say allergies usually last longer, while a cold will run its course in five to six days. The cold's going to be a virus and, and you may get a little bit of achiness with it, but the, and the allergies are not going to cause any of that. Either way, family physician Dr. Brent Wadel says to start with an antihistamine or over-the-counter medication to get congestion loose. Since Meyer symptoms persisted, he got a shot and some cough syrup. Still not 100% and we're in the February. He hopes to be back to normal once this roller coaster weather comes to a halt. Jamie Garrett, KYTX, CBS 19 News. If your problems aren't going away, doctors say an infection may be to blame, and that's the only reason you should then resort to an antibiotic. You should visit your doctor if it's been a week or longer. So if you've got that little twitch in your nose, let's find out exactly <laughs> what's in the air right now and in our nostrils, in my nostrils, Doc. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure.